heart of a woman. Okay guys, so welcome back to Heart of a Woman and on set is Minister uh, Barbara Bremner mm -hmm. and her lovely daughter, mm -hmm. Minister Anisha. 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, Anisha. Anisha Bremner. Mm -hmm. If you guys, if you're joining us now, you really missed out, you know, we had a very lovely introduction, mm -hmm. but we're going ahead, you'll catch up with us, yeah. yeah. Right. So Sister Bremner, um, you know what I remember about you? Uh -huh. As a young believer, mm -hmm. I don't know why you came to my house though. You came to my house, we were friends really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She came to my house and um, she brought somebody else with her, I think not a female minister. Mm -hmm. And he sat in my porch and he knew those days she never used to talk much. Eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she never, <laughs> never used to talk much. But you had these piercing eyes and as if this woman was just into my soul. Yeah. <laughs> What do you want? Because you yeah. know. And she said to me, you know, you sigh a lot. I said, I sigh a lot. Mm -hmm. But not even telling her I was going through my own issues yeah. and whatever. No. And then I started opening up. And I think that is when we became close. Okay. You know? yeah. But just telling me that, and mm -hmm. I think she prayed for me. So I always remember her oh. fondly that, you yeah. know, she was one of the women that helped me to walk that path as a young believer. And if wow. I never said it, before I'm saying it publicly, thank oh, you so much for your yeah. love and your encouragement. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. on that yes, note, yes. at what age you got saved? Um, I really got saved about ten years. Okay. I wasn't baptized until I was twelve. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And uh, what prompted you? I mean, was it that you grew up in a Christian home or? Um, I. I wouldn't say I grew up in a Christian home. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a religious a home okay. where yeah. I was offered up in an Anglican church. Okay. And my mom was Methodist. Mm -hmm. So I was offered up in the Anglican church. And my mom, well, we went with her as the children to the Methodist church for until I was nine years. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, I loved Jesus. Yeah. I had a fear for God always mm -hmm. since ever growing up. Mm -hmm. But um, I saw my mom walk out of the Methodist church and she said she, she wanted to be a Christian she wanted to be born again to have a Christian experience because she didn't have it there mm -hmm. and when well, she took us with her and although what well, I was interested being a nice little girl you know doing little things around the church still I mean loving Jesus in my way yeah. Yeah. but I realized that I didn't have salvation mm -hmm. as a person yeah right okay. like just by her and she taught us, she, she began teaching us differently from the time she got saved in 1969. Okay. She began teaching us, so I knew that I needed to be saved. Mm -hmm. Although I grew up in, you know, going to yes, church. Yes. It's so my life needs to be more than just a little young girl going to church. I need mm -hmm. to have that personal experience with the Lord. Wonderful. And we had a, a children's crusade. Mm -hmm. And the, the message that the, 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 the lady brought it spoke something to me to say, yes, you really need Jesus mm -hmm. as your personal savior. And there is where I gave my heart to Jesus. Mm -hmm. I was like 10 years old. Mm -hmm. and, but I had a little challenges with my father, um, little battlings because my mom <laughs> also had battlings with him, you know, because right. she, she wanted to serve Jesus and he, he didn't want her to really go that way. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I remember the joke that when she was going to be baptized, he came right into the line and pulled her out. <laughs> oh and said, where you going? Yeah. You get wow. permission to go and do oh this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and she said, I'm going to do it anyway. Anyway. You understand? Yes. And I said, okay. I, but I have decided I will follow my mom because she was going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. You Definitely. know? And I spent a while in church being involved in things, but, you know, realizing I needed a deeper commitment, yes. you know, with the Lord. And so I decided that I'm going to, I want to get baptized. Mm -hmm. At the age of 12, it was a bit easier than for mm -hmm. me, although my dad was like he wasn't like Christian, he was just like religious. Right. But I had decided that listen, I need to serve Jesus. That's the way properly, you need to go. You know? Yeah. And that is what brought me to the point of making that commitment to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And thank God you did because, you know, yeah. out yes. of that you see yeah. where God where God took you and yes. yeah. meeting your husband and Lord and we'll talk about that. But Anisha mm -hmm. growing up mm -hmm. as in the home, in the household of pastor, <laughs> what is that like? Because you always hear um, 
they label children that grow up yeah. in that home as PKs. Yes, yes. I, I don't like that PKs. Yeah. You know, people are like children, nevertheless. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But what, what is it like? And um, what are some of the challenges you faced, not mm. necessarily from home, mm. but from the expectations that people have of mm. PKs? PKs. Mm-hmm. Well, that in itself is a major challenge, mm-hmm. um, the expectation. I think. Um, it's still a challenge because mm-hmm. um, you grew up, or if you grew up with everybody looking at the the pastor children should do no wrong. Right. You know they should do no wrong. They should be walking the straight line. They can't disappoint. And you know you, it 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 was kind well, of what is on the straight line. The straight line <laughs> as <laughs> as in this straight yeah, line. there's a straight line in people's head that 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 you know whatever other children in the church are doing, mm-hmm. you can't do it. Mm-hmm. You know, so even if the other children in the church are behaving badly. You can't because you're the pastor's child. Right. You know, and while you know you, you understood that expectation because you know you expect that your parents supposed to grow you up in a certain manner, there was a greater expectation mm-hmm. of the pastor's children that they, they could not and they should not and and so it, it, it was as if you weren't even allowed to be faulty. Right. So yeah. it, it, it almost seemed mm-hmm. as though you were saved from the time you were pastor child. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> mommy and daddy are pastors, and I always considered, I think I considered both of them being pastors when yes. I kind of grew up after, you know, a little mature when I went to Cuba, I realized, oh, my mom is a pastor she's too, a because pastor. she's oh, a minister, yeah. you, know, you know, she may not have had the title pastor, mm-hmm. but I see both of them are pastors because the work that they did is one, of course. you know, yeah. mm-hmm. um, but people had that, you, you're born, a, you're in a, a pastor's shadow, you're saved automatically, so, you know. You know, kind you're of way, but you behave. better be, yeah, you better, yeah, you behave, better behave as though you're saved, you know. And, yeah. and so I think that's the, the pressure that it kind of caused in a lot of, because I've known of pastor children that have totally, like, abandoned the faith mm-hmm. because of too much pressure, yes, one. Yes, yes. And uh, the, the not, not, not from outside, but from inside, because yes. it, it places a lot of pressure on the parents, too, because, mm-hmm. I mean, the pastor if you look at how they look at me because you know re- really and truly when people see the family behave a certain way you know the first person who says look the pastor you know his family is like this his children behave like this so yeah. he, he he must not be doing something right that kind of way mm-hmm. so it, it, it for me i think it just put unnecessary pressure on the mm-hmm. pastors so they put unnecessary pressure on the children mm-hmm. um daddy was daddy yeah <laughs> so <laughs> I, you, you had to walk me straight and in any case, I don't think even regardless of a pastor, pastor, a pastor yeah. you just had to. Yeah. I tell children, because I'm a teacher, I tell children, I don't know how you all could behave like that. I mm-hmm. was deadly afraid of both my parents, both mm-hmm. my mother and my father, mm-hmm. whether they were pastors or not. So I was probably very quiet, almost invisible. Yeah. But you also had that be careful, kind of mindful of what you did, mm-hmm. you know. And it was challenging because... For me, I probably didn't feel as though I I, I really came into Christ because I, I got saved. Which I can't even remember at what age. I remember age, it was yeah. young because you know you didn't want to go to hell and mm-hmm. you better be be saved because you're, you're better yeah. born yeah. saved. Yeah. 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 I, I didn't remember saying this in a prayer. I remember that much. Yeah. You know, I just can't yeah. remember at what age. Yeah. But I really did not come into Christ. It was probably in your mind. Yeah, yeah. Born it was saved. in my mind. Yes. Saved, you know. Yeah. I, I I after coming like 16, 17, I realized that mm, I better take this thing serious. Get serious. I yeah. better get serious about mm-hmm. this thing because I wasn't serious. And you know, I had my little thoughts. I had my mm-hmm. hidden thoughts. I had my, my secret. Because you're human. Have, because you're human. You're human, yes. 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 But, and, but it was a thing until later, even when I went to Cuba, as I told mom, and I realized, hmm, God's serious about this thing. Yeah. Boy, I, better, mm-hmm. I better get serious. Mm-hmm. That is when I, I like to tell people, that's when my deliverance package came. Yeah, so yeah, I was cool. saved, I wasn't delivered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I like my, that. my deliverance package came a little later. Yeah. Yeah. That's salvation. Yeah. But, um, but it, it was challenging in itself. But at, at, at the end, like now, I can mm-hmm. say I'm, I'm grateful. Amen. Yeah. I am mm-hmm. totally, totally grateful because um, I've seen where they have set both of them. They have set uh, uh, an example for me that is so tremendous for mm-hmm. all of us. Mm-hmm. That is tremendous that I can't, I could not have because I used to ask, well, oh, you know, why I don't have this big testimony? Like I grew up in a family of drugs oh or whatever. And, you know, I wanted the, I wanted the glamorous testimony. I wanted, you know, the, the testimony where all of this happened and the Lord saved me from this and whatever. And, and God one day, you know, through his Holy Spirit kind of reminded me, but 
the testimonies that I kept you from all of that. You know, there's so many people that go through that and you don't know how hard it is for children to exactly. grow up without mother and father yes. and, and this example. So mm -hmm. I was grateful. So I've missed the challenges. Now I could kind of look back and say, you know what, I probably would not have traded in for anything else. And I love what you said because I think the, the, the trend mm -hmm. now in Christianity is, well, you know, I was up there and I did yeah. drugs yeah, and, 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 yeah. whatever, mm -hmm. and, and God protected did, me mm -hmm. and he saved me and he brought me back. back. Mm -hmm. That's a trend. I always share with my children, I said mm -hmm. the greatest testimony mm -hmm. that, is that God truly Tr kept, kept you from you. that. It's, it's not he easy. He kept you. Mm -hmm. That is an amazing it testimony. Is. And I like to see the, the glitz and the glamour yeah. of what you did. But mm -hmm. I think an amazing yes. testimony is yes. that. He kept, kept you. Me. Mm -hmm. right. he kept me. He kept me, you know. Yeah. That's awesome, you know. Yeah. And that's all you need. Exactly. So, um, Sister Bravna, you know, I, I am listening to her, and we may have to go to a break on your topic, but we will continue. Okay. Um, I remember, I'm listening to her talking mm -hmm. about being a pastor's child, mm -hmm. but you were also a bishop's wife. <laughs> mm, graduated. You know? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, a yeah. bishop's wife. Mm -hmm. That that's a whole lot. This man is not just yeah. as your people say yeah. regular 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 pastor. <laughs> He's now a bishop. You are now first lady. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did you deal with that, that girl? <laughs> when when that time I may be going to break just now, but I wanna just toss that that we will mm -hmm. we'll continue. Or should I give you some time to think about how you dealt with that? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> she thinks yeah. that you yeah. know, so you will need yeah. some. Mm -hmm. You will need some time to yeah. to think about how you you dealt with that. So we want to come. I giving you time, eh? Yeah. To think about <laughs> the first time you realize you want to be a first lady. How did you feel? Mm. Did it really hit home? You know, when did it hit home? You see how much questions are given yes, to I'm figure out. out. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, we are going to a quick break, and we will be right back. Okay. Good. Heart of a woman. 